On this episode of Game Shack, I'm going to talk all about the exciting new collaboration between Zen Pinball and At Games and their brand new ALP Gen 2 4K pinball machine. I'm going to talk about whether or not you should pick one up, give you guys some stats that maybe some other people haven't talked about yet. I'm going to say whether or not I'm going to buy one of these things and give you a whole lot more information. All that and more coming up next. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome all back into the Game Shack. I'm your host, JDV for Evil Genius Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by the Game Shack. It really does mean a lot to us that you spend a little bit of your day here in the old Game Shack and Rooney. As always, if you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up on the way out the door. Please, please subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have, hit the notification bell. Well, the big, big news in the realm of three-quarter scale arcading, of course, was the fact that Zen pinball game tables are going to be made available on the 4K Alp Gen 2 pinball game from At Games. And part of the reason why that is exciting is not only are you going to be able to get those games on the Gen 2 machines, but you're going to be able to get branded cabs starting with the Adams Family. Now, Adam's Family is one of the biggest real-world pinball games ever made. It is often in people's top 10 lists. It is a very fun game, yada, yada, yada. So to see that game here made available for the first time on any um, licensed pinball game is really exciting. And to have it be on the Elf Gen 2 is even more so. And if you take a look at that cab, it really does look pretty dang amazing considering that you can buy it right now, well, in another couple of days, uh, studying, I think, the 22nd to the 25th, you'll be able to pick that cab up for $10.99 plus $100 shipping and handling. So, you know, right around the $1,200 mark, which is what most of us thought this game was going to come in at way back when, before we knew that Zen Games were going to be on there, and before we knew that the game was going to be branded, with a topper. Now that topper is really slick because you could expect to pay at least $100 uh, for a nice topper from Joe Zabo or somebody like that, Retro 360. Or even more if you got an interactive one. I've seen real world pinball toppers going for a couple of thousand dollars. So, you know, the fact that you get a nice little one built in here is a really, really cool thing. And if you like the styling of this game or really like Adam's Family, period, this seems like a no-brainer. Let's talk a little bit about um, what you're going to be able to get on the Alp Gen 2 machine if you buy it in general, and a little bit about the Zen aspect after that. All right, so it's going to be 164K games are going to be made available by December, which is when these things are going to be coming out. 115 of those are going to be Sakaria games made by Mags Pixel, some Natural History Museum, again, made by Magic Pixel. The Gottlieb games presumably are going to be on there. I don't know if it's going to be all 22 or if it's just going to be 15. But anyway, you're going to be able to get a Gottlieb pack and the upgraded physics and new 4K um, graphics. And of course, the Zen games, which they're thinking 15 to 20 a year are going to come out from Zen. It's a little bit more dependent on Zen than it is at games. But anyway, you're going to be able to get into some really high-end games, presumably games like Star Trek, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and some King Kong. A lot of those games are really killer A-list real-world pinball games. Now, one of the things that they've said is if you're not really into Adam's Family, if you don't dig that design, well, just wait a little while because there's going to be 14 other branded games besides Adam's Family between now and 2025. Again, those are presumably going to be big name titles like Star Trek, Star Wars, Godzilla, things like that. So if you want to have a different skin on here, then just wait. Now, you might be having to pay full price if you do that, which I think is going to be $14.99 plus that $100 shipping and handling. But as always, Ad Games has, I think at this point, quarterly sales, national owner day type events. So if you can't quite afford that, that $1,500 price tag, maybe wait a while and you'll be able to jump into it. But for right now, if you jump in next week on the 22nd, you're going to be able to get that Adams Family for $10.99 plus $100 shipping and handling. An amazing deal. And it really is an amazing deal if you think about it. You're getting the three screens, the haptics, the 4K upgrade, the upgraded physics, the ability to have those 160 uh, pinball games available to you, plus Zen games and more Zen games coming down the line. That is all to the good. Let me talk a little bit about the, uh, a little bit of a controversy I said in my last out video that 60 frames per second was good enough. And I got taken to task by three or four people said, no, 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 120 frames per second is the way to go. If you want higher end top of the line virtual pinball, this game ain't it. 
And it's really important to understand this. You are not buying the top of the line rig when you're getting a $1,500 to $1,200 machine. You're just not, it's impossible. It's amazing that this thing does what it can do at that price point. But specifically about the 60 frames per second versus 120 frames per second refresh rate, I went back to on my machine, which is 120 uh, hertz type rig, and I went to go show that there's not that much of a difference between 120 frames and 60. Well, I got into the settings and then I immediately realized the entire time that my virtual pinball game has been up and running, which has been since around February, that I've been running at 60 frames per second the whole time and I never knew the difference and never even bothered to check to see if I was at 120 and I've played this game for hundreds of hours great amount of fun never bothered me so all the footage you're seeing was shot at 60 frames per second because I didn't know that I wasn't at 120 frames per second so I don't know to me yes if you want a higher end game that has 120 frames per second if you want some of the better graphics that you're going to be able to get from vpx or future pinball then you pretty much have either got to set up your own rig and then maybe otg it here or just have your own cabinet separate or you're going to be spending four or five thousand dollars from somebody else to set you up a really nice virtual pinball rig and that's what we're really talking about here, okay? Is the fact that this is going to be, um, it's, a, it's a list of compromises, isn't it? Between the affordability of it, between having three screens, having some haptics, solenoids, getting those IPs, getting the branding and all of that, to have this cab come in at $1,200 is an amazing price assuming you're into virtual pinball. And I guess that's kind of uh, what this cab really is a test of, is your interest level in virtual pinball. Because you can pick up a used Alp Gen 1 for 400 bucks off of Facebook, or you already own one. Again, for around two grand, you can set up something like what I have and have a very nice 120 hertz 4K OLED system. Um, but I spent a lot of time setting that up, hundreds of hours into that, setting it up and getting it fine tuned just the way I like it. But the dirty little secret is, is those Zen games aren't photo real anyway. If you take the virtual pinball version of Adam's Family on Zen versus the VPX version, the best versions you can get of Adam's Family on that, and the VPX is going to stop the Zen version. It just is. VPX games now, particularly in the last six months to the year, just look absolutely amazing. There are some amazing people out there right now making stuff for VPX. That said, Zen games are super, super fun and they do look pretty good. They just don't look for a real. Don't expect that kind of level of performance out of Zen and don't expect it out of the CPU in this Elf Gen 2, which is going to give you not quite as good version of the PC version, but again, because it's not photo real and because it's at 60 frames per second, you're going to be getting kind of performance that is better than the Elf Gen 1, but again, not the very best in the world. So if you're not into the Adams Family skin, you just don't really love that title or you just want a different skin, there are going to be 14 different branded cabs coming from Ad Games and Zen. Presumably those games are going to be, you know, games like Jaws, Indiana Jones, Star Wars, Star Trek The Next Generation, Godzilla. Presumably we're going to be seeing some of those big titles made available and being made available um, the skin of these games. Of course, if you got into Adam's Family and you got sick of it, you're always going to be able to reskin this thing down the line. That is one of the benefits of having At Games be putting out 5,000 uh, units of each branded cab as they come out. So there's going to be a lot of these out there. There's going to be a lot of third parties making uh, graphic kits for this. So if you're not in love with any of these graphics, you are going to be able to switch them out just like you could any other machine. I mean, I don't know how do you beat that. I mean, you're certainly not going to beat it with Arcade One Up, who seems to have quit the virtual pinball game altogether. Again, to step into a higher uh, kind of tier of game that comes pre-built, you're looking at $4,000, $4,500 to get into something to equivalent of this game. So it's an incredible bargain, presuming that you are okay with a 32 inch screen that is not going to have the actual cutting bleeding edge in terms of graphics. I'll just say this, if you're wanting to jump into virtual pinball, this is it, jump in now. Get it right now. Don't think twice about it. Get this game. I'm pretty sure you're not going to be disappointed. You got all new user interface, all the other bells and whistles. It really is an incredible deal. 
I think that if you already have the uh, Gen 1 HD version, you're not going to see light years better improvement in terms of play value or graphics. However, you will see significantly better graphics and probably fairly better physics as well. So, you know, I guess it depends again on your desire to play a better virtual pinball game than you probably own right now. Now, what do you guys think? Do you have any interest in this cab at all? Do you, are you excited about the fact that Zen is now collaborating with Ad Games? To me, that's a huge deal just because it looks like Ad Games is upping their games in terms of getting their IP. They're upping their games in terms of the branding of their cabs, which has traditionally been quite poor. Now we're starting to see some, if I might say, arcade one uh, up level type of game design here. And that is a very exciting thing, even if you're not into virtual pinball, because it gives you hope that that ALU Gen 2, when it is finally announced, is going to be pretty incredible as well. Anyway, what do you guys think? Are you going to buy this thing or not? Let me know down below. I'm probably going to pass on just because I have a machine that is better in most ways, if not all ways. And you know, I, I kind of want a different branding if I did jump into it. However, if you like Adam's family, whew, this is a heck of a deal. All right, that's going to wrap up this episode. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm sure I missed something. If you had any questions, ask me, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Love each other, and until next time, I'll see you guys in the Game Shack. Mwah! Be sure to visit EvilGeniusEntertainment.com for exclusive content, swag, casting call news, and much, much more.